said, if you ain't first, you're last. Hello, imbecile.
Hello, everybody out there in TV land, and welcome in for a marvelous night of Marvel Snap. All oh, that setting us up with first the gate, first through last round round. Always great to see you, chat hello, hello, you yeah, dang it last, but sometimes you get first. It's a heated battle for sure. All that's coming in with those VIP hearts, welfare. Good to see you, chat, welcome in, welcome in, toxic buggy, we are here. Welcome in, welcome in, great to see you, Waro, hello, hello, how is it going, guys? How you doing, how you doing? Let me get a little bit of water here. Are you guys staying hydrated out there? I hope so. Oh, my, okay, there we go. You can see a boo through me? That is a little spooky. It's a little spooky. That's all right. He's a friendly boo. You don't have to worry about him, Oro. He's friendly. How you guys doing? What is it? Thursday? Still Thursday? Terrific Thursday, guys. A Thooper Thursday. Or a Thor's Day. As our good friend Odin might say. How you guys doing? Um, I'm thinking about Marvel Snap, of course. And uh, that big bad that ain't no good Kang. Can we somehow utilize Kang in Conquest to actual some effect? And that's why I kind of want to try out tonight. Um, I'm kind of thinking something that I've noticed is people always change their play on a Kang. So maybe we just expect that and we play the losing play to what they were going to do. And we see if we can get a win. And maybe we'll just get people who get tilted at us and, and we'll still be able to win. But that's, that's what I'm going to try to do. I haven't figured out which shell. To put Kang in. Happy that OTA. Yeah. Celebrate the OTA. Uh, Shuri. Yay. Red Skull. Red Skull. Saron. Shuri. Back where it's at. I love it. I love it. Pretty good one today. Yeah. Definitely a good OTA. You had your last exam. Finally free. Hell yeah. Alves. Congratulations. Last exam. Finally free. Congratulations. Alves. Glad to hear it, guys. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the OTA. I am. I think today was a good one. Mostly buffs, which we always love to see buffs. Yeah, Cerebro 5 for uh, poor Doom. But, uh, I mean, Doom had to get touched. I almost wish Doom was uh, a 4, right? It was just three fours. Then maybe it's Cerebro 4 Doom, you know? I also really like the symmetry that it had, you know, Mr. Fantastic, two to two other lanes, Dr. Doom, four to four, four and four to two other lanes. I kind of like the idea of it, but it is what it is, chat. It is what it is. Um, it had to happen. He was, he was ran in like every deck. Talk about just being a good card. Dr. Doom was just a good card. Alves, you want to check out this t-shirt? It's a Marvel, a little Marvel. So you'll see through the Hulk. Uh, but yeah, just a Marvel that I picked up at Target. A little Target. Check it out. You got all the good characters there. You got the Iron Man and his classic styling. You know, Captain America. Of course, the Hulk, which looks all spacified. You know, Daredevil's in there. Doctor Strange. It's that kind of older, older comic styling Marvel. You know, I like the classics, even if I wasn't there. At the time, even if I don't know all the lore, I like the vintage. I like the classic. I like the nostalgia. All right, let's see here. We're going to enter this up. We're going to take in this Kang deck. It's not good. All right, so I put it in a Galactus Destroy shell, and I'm not so convinced by it. I think maybe there's a different shell to put it in. Maybe it's Control. I also had to take, because I went with the Destroy Shell and the Galactus Shell, I had to take out Daredevil, which I kind of wanted to do the full Daredevil insanity of Daredevil and Kang. Only use Kang with Galactus? See, I mean, that's kind of what I was feeling all this. It's like, it's just a good Galactus card, but I guess this, like, this Galactus Shell is really awkward, too. Cause I'm trying to do goofy shit with it and maybe I should just maybe I should go with a more traditional shell right like it's it's hybrid destroy Galactus 
Yeah, we were able to ink. Ink the carnage. I do think that I want to upgrade this one because I've seen it in 3D and the depth of it is insane. But I really liked having um, having two of them. Like uh, having a Venom that was the same styling. Now I'm using this Venom because it's gold with gold Kirby, right? And we also have Shuri in here, which is also gold with gold Kirby. So we're just going hard with the gold to gold Kirby. Throne Room might actually be hard to win with. Ooh, okay. Saron. So they're bringing a Shuri package, right? So this is probably going to hit like their Taskmaster or their Zola, which is pretty good. But we need to get stuff out of our hand, right? Mm, let's just use the Carnage. Let's just use the Carnage for right now. What? Do you just Enchantress my Electro for me? That's an odd decision. It's a very odd decision. I don't think Null is a good idea yet. We have this Carnage as well. Yo, Chrome, good to see you in chat, bud. Welcome in, welcome in. Maybe the play is something like this. Maybe it's something like that, right? We're going to try to use Kang Chrome. That's the plan for today. And I've put it into like a weird hybrid control Galactus shell. I don't know if it's any good. I also got Teenage Warhead in here. I think um, part of that is just for me to practice with her, to be honest with you. Hmm. Twitch changed their back end. I don't know if I like it. All right. Anyway, um, but she can be spicy sometimes. She can let us get around some things. And she might even be good against Shuri, right? Okay, so it's not Shuri. Get rid of their She-Hulk. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's part of the line, Alves. 100%. Negasonic, Shuri, Galactus. Uh, we also have a potential to use uh, Negasonic to activate Nimrod if we need to. We pull the destroyer? That kind of sucks. Um, I think we just have to do this and hope for the best. Because we're not taking Stark Tower. Yeah, I found a Spider Ham variant in the shop. Uh, it's one of the more expensive ones, but it looks cool. It looks cool. So I, I went ahead and did it. I figured for the content, right? Spider Ham's a fun card. I can see myself playing him a lot. It's a good. Good, uh, good variant. The Peter Perker one. I haven't, I don't know if I've seen that one, Chrome. Yeah, they're all really good. They've been knocking it out of the park with some of the new variants, right? Like, um, Jeff. Jeff's variants were incredibly good. Incredibly good. Okay, I don't quite know what I need to do here. It looks like we're always going to end up hitting the She-Hulk, which isn't fantastic. Oh, you got a Dan Hip Howard the Duck? Let's go. That one's really good, too. Howard the Duck's also got, like, a Noir variant, which is nice. I kind of like the Noir variants, but I like the older ones more than the newer Noir variants. It's about time I readjust the mic stand. It is uh, a little wobbly. Is the Peter Porker one in game? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Chrome believes so. All right. What what happened here? Like, did my opponent? Did I disconnect? Did my opponent disconnect? I feel like we've been chatting for a hot minute here, waiting. Spider Ham two. Collectible, yes, or is that talking about the card? I don't see a price for this one. Live release, what does that mean?
Yeah, I don't think I've seen this one in game. It's a it's a good looking one. Let's see here, we can put it down here. Did we really just like did they figure out we were Galactus or something and decide they didn't want to play against Galactus? I don't understand what has happened here. All right, silver ticket. I'll take it. I'll take it. This one, right? Um, uh-oh. This one, here it is. Spider Ham. All right, we beat the Proving Games. We beat the Proving Grounds by losing our first game. I, and we didn't even get to practice. We didn't even get to practice with Kang. But I guess maybe like we really should be playing Silver at the very least and not Proving Grounds if we actually want to get a shot at it. So how do you obtain it? It said live release, I thought, when I looked at it, as far as the source went. I guess, how much does it cost? Will it show up in the shop? It used to have prices on here, didn't it? Now it doesn't have prices? What's happened to SnapFan? Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, Alright, so we need Nimrod here and we can win. Yo, Marks, good to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm so tempted to see about fixing this stand live. That's not really the best idea. But here I am doing it anyway, and I think that helped at least a little bit. Snap Tracker Meta Collection. Oh, I see. That's how you confirmed it. need from it all right yo unhelpful yoda welcome in bud welcome in all right i got super distracted super distracted just now uh but it doesn't matter because we don't really have a play I really need nimrod like so terribly bad do we need nimrod I mean, I don't know what to do if we don't find Nimrod, to be honest with you, chat. Alright, well, that's helpful. A 615's not bad. Still no Nimrod? Still no Nimrod. No Galactus either? All right, I'm going to put Noel here. I'm putting Noel there. Hopefully what happens. I'm, okay, you snap. This Proving Grounds is fine. I actually probably should just leave this, but it's fine. It's fine. We put Noel here. I am. And then we, we're we still hoping to pull the, the freaking Nimrod, the one in five. That wasn't it. That's not the Nimrod. I can't play Venom here anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have I have lost really, really, really bad. <laughs> Yo, Crush, good to see you in chat. Yeah, Dr. Doom got that nerfed, didn't he? Now a five summoning two four fours. I honestly, I, I would have given up the extra power. I'll be honest with you, Crush. I would have been okay with it being three fours instead of a five and two fours. I'm a sucker for that kind of junk. It probably is a bit more balanced now. To be honest with you. Yeah, I didn't snap, right? They have a Chavez there. Yeah, you got this, bud. You got this. I did just show that we had the uh, the Kang. Oh, you found yourself a mute. Good job, brother. It's a six thirteen that spreads a gun. A, a, 
across the lanes amongst the lanes I mean, that's a good point even when it was a 615 right like 615 is really powerful like destroy or destroys a whole bunch of stuff but destroyer you don't really counter right you counter doom with cosmo and it is also that spread across the lanes difference i i mean i kind of thought it was reasonable but it was definitely in every single deck so and and i trust that second dinner is using uh you know a lot of good data and stats that we don't have so if they're seeing it win a bunch of games and in a lot that's true it's true control is so good and that's part of why it's uh popular and i mean maybe that will um maybe that will sand out yeah sandman also being popular so it might you know help bring those out of popularity if sandman and uh control aren't able to like go across into those lanes you know I mean, the spread across wins a lot of games. That's true. It's it's just situational. It's it's an interesting card. I'm glad that I, I think it needed a change. It really did. But I don't know what I do here. I've I've had crap draws this entire time. It's really disappointing. Think wave's gonna be hit next? I mean, wave's definitely played for her effect. I think if she was a 3 2, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, it counters Sandman. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, Dr. Doom's in that weird spot. And I think that's, again, it's part of it. It was just like. It was There's always just kind of in a weird spot, right? Where it would get played in decks for tech against the deck or even for utilization in that deck. It was just universally good. It almost always did well. Yeah, see, and that's what I'm saying, all this. It's like... It would be a much bigger nerf if it was completely symmetrical, but I almost wish that was the case. Just because I like the lore and I like the symmetry of it. They are good changes. They are good changes. Oh, you think the other changes are good? You, yeah. Crush doesn't like the Doom. I can understand. Like, I, I'm not saying it's a good or it's a bad change necessarily. I just mean to say I understand why the change came about. He's played in just like every single deck. And the only other way that you could really change him, right, is if you gave him the... Um, adjacent lane treatment that Ultron used to have but that doesn't feel good that doesn't feel good at all that that mechanic was just a bad mechanic uh, the thing is is I still lose sewer system right unfortunately like I can't do that and win sewer system We haven't seen Galactus once yet. Wow, brother, I'm I'm gonna rope you if you don't start fucking behaving. Like, seriously. Yeah, six thirteen's a little bit more in line with uh, the output of other six drops that don't have some serious downside. I mean, death is just like a 9-12, right? Of course, or an 8-12. Of course, she gets discounted, so sometimes she's a 0-12. But I guess on average, you can get her down to like a 3-12 or so with some work. But again, there's like some kind of work to put in. Dr. Doom had 
basically no work to put in whatsoever. Yeah, I kind of wish Crush, Crush, I kind of wish Red Skull would go back to 515, but I understand why he won't go that far back. Hit my Galactus. What a pain in the D. We do have Nimrod, which is good. I'll put this here. I mean, again, Crush, like, that's the weird thing about Doctor Doom is, like, the duality. He was, you know, a counter to, to Dex that he was an enabler in as well. And it's kind of that same thing. It's like sometimes going across three lanes, downside. Sometimes, upside. I am phenomenally pissed off that this is Wakanda. It's not as much of a negative as it is a situational. I guess that's one way to look at it, for sure, for sure. Because, I mean, yeah, you can... You definitely can, you know, build towards a specific deal. If that makes sense, right? Like, you build to get over the situation or get over the negative. I don't know, again, like, Doctor Doom was one of those cards where if you were playing against a control deck and you had Doom in your hand, you felt good. If you were playing a control deck and you had Doom in your hand, you felt good. And I just think that that example there clearly, like, in my opinion, illustrates just, like, it was a good card. It was a good card, period. Like, universally a good card. And there's nothing wrong with having just universally good cards, but you do kind of want to have some sort of symmetry going on, you know? I could do this to get Nimrod over again, which is actually pretty good. Should I snap him here? If it's your only six cost to play, then it'd kind of be a downside. I mean, I could definitely see that, yeah. Victory. I think those are like good duality options, right? Unhelpful Leota. It would suck if you drew one and you needed the other, but one's really tall and one's really horizontal. Yeah, I can see that crush. I'm not too I'm not too upset with Evo Hulk. I think Evo Hulk is is kind of just a okay. Yeah, it just kind of builds power in your hand. As long as your your deck is built for it and you're getting the right plays each turn. I do think Hulk is easier, like a lot easier to manifest that power in your hand than, say, our uh, good friend Apocalypse. But I think Apocalypse also grows like has the potential to grow faster and farther. Uh, Hulk has a, a definite cap, you know. It is nice little lore, isn't it? Unhelpful Yoda, the way he just grows throughout the match. Yeah, APOC gets to utilize that Dracula for sure. I don't know if they play around the Chi here. I mean, the Galactus. Do I do this now and try to Galactus last turn? Absolutely not. Let's just go for it. The worst case scenario, it's seven power, which is still pretty good. Kitty Pride. All right, that gives me Pryo.
So this is what, plus 8 power? 7 to 15? They played Negasonic. Why in the good lord would you do that? All right, so they have two cards that they want to play. The first one is Shuri. Okay, and then it's Kitty Pride. All right. So we're going to have 8 and 18 for a total of 26. I can't beat 26. And I don't get to use the Shang-Chi. That's what really stinks is like I don't get to use the Shang-Chi because I have Pryo. All right, I don't, I don't think Kang's gonna work out for us. I gotta remember to mute this stupid. F I am so tempted, so tempted to just rope a dasher. Like, should we start doing that? Should we all band together against the bad emote players and just rope them? Or is it just like compound the problem and make it worse? It probably compounds the problem and makes it worse. Yeah, I really hate having to mute every match. Like, if you don't want to give us global mute, give us player mute. Because once one player is an asshole, that player is always, always an asshole. Yo, Sheffy, good to see you in chat. I should do the Val rope. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Don't fucking test me, right? It's proving grounds, too, right? It's proving grounds. What does this guy have to prove? I got this Valkyrie, which is interesting. Yeah, I found myself. Oh, that wasn't it. It's gone now. Found myself a venomized ham. I haven't put any tokens in it yet. I'm low on credits. I am low on credits. All right, we destroyed that spider ham. Very nice. What this hit? The null? Who cares, brother? Who cares? Yeah, now null is now null. Did retain the ongoing power, which is interesting. I really don't think it's supposed to work that way, IMO, but that's that's not my decision to make. Why are they so confident with the snap here, chat? Can they beat the Galactus? I could also do this to win this lane. Fuck it, let's try it. Yeah, he got it. Giganto. Cool. Uh, is he muted? Yeah. Alright, let's remember this guy's name. Because if we find Dasher again, we're gonna, like, really ruin his day. Like, really ruin his day. I just don't know what to change with this. Maybe we just need to take Nimrod out, right? Take the Nimrod Negasonic Shuri out. Maybe the Null comes out. I never really utilized the Null. I do think something's got to change here. I didn't pay attention to what that was. Whoops. I just really, really like the Negasonic Shuri Galactus line, but it's just not great. Put in Valkyrie? 
Where do we put a Valkyrie in for, Oro? That freaking super flow, that blows. That blows. Like, I feel I need Venom slash Carnage to be able to activate the Nimrod. It's so funny, it's because, like, I cut the Nimrod package out of here, and then I put it right back in, because, like, I want to play Nimrod. Oh, Valkyrie's the car that got pinged. Got you, got you, got you. Thank you, thank you, Oro. I still really badly need the Nimrod. Oh, we got rid of that Wong. There we go. Well, that's spicy. Yo, and we found the Nimrod? This is good. We don't want to show the Kang early. I was tempted to play the Kang, right? But we don't actually want to show the Kang. If we're trying to use the Kang competitively in Conquest, then it's a surprise card that we use to gather information or to try to force a bluff. Oh my god. Iron Man. Did he just Kang himself? He just found out that I'm running Kang. All right, so guys, we just saw a morph in the wild. Granted, it's proving crowns, but we saw it. We saw it. Yeah, there goes the whole plan of like hiding our freaking Kang. But I guess like it could have been worse. I actually don't think it could have been. No, it, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. Let me snap. I have to redo my snap now. Morphing your Agent Agatha deck in the Proving Grounds? There you go. I do like Proving Grounds. Proving Grounds is a fun little place to hang out and play and be able to, like... There's a decently diverse meta in the Proving Grounds. Some people, like, do not do communism. Some people do. It's, it's a fun place. And I think, like... Specifically, Agatha finally has a chance. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy just crystalled like that? No way. No way. What a freaking nerd. What a nerd. Um, I think we can win if I had Carnage. I don't have Carnage. Shit. I am. Okay, so 13 does not win that at all. I am Iron Man. And 18 over there. No, no, because it, it, it'll still it'll still take him away, unhelpful Yoda. It removes Kang no matter where Kang is. Even if you lockjaw him in, if he bounces back to your hand. If his on reveal goes off, it removes King no matter where he's at. Alright, so we just forced the tie here, right? Because there's no way to win anywhere else. We just forced the tie. And forcing the tie is better than losing the two. And we know that this is a forced tie. There's no doubt about it. Like, I probably would have forced the tie without the Kang. But. But. They already know about the Kang. They found the Kang. With their stinky old Murph. I am Iron Man. Why are you pointing at me, dude? If I could have had that Nimrod in the left, we would have won. Now let's see here. 
We got Galactus, we got Kang, we got Wave. This is looking okay. Carnage, we might just tempo out, but that seems like a stupid idea. We also have the Nimrod. Hmm. I think turn six Galactus, honestly too risky. Honestly too risky. I think we Galactus into Vibranium Mines. Do we Kang now? If we Kang now, they'll change their play. And I don't want them to change their play because they play on Atlantis here. We... The, the thing about Kang is he will fuck with our opponent's mind after we play him. So we play Kang when we want them to change their play. That was a that was a cool way right there to guarantee that they still had the Wong. I gotta say that I'm I'm a little impressed by that. Oh, I snapped late. Which is okay because we're playing Kang next turn anyway. Iron Man. Alright, they've got to beat 34. Right? They've got to beat 34. 34 is a lot. Can they beat 34? They'd have to put 17 points on the board right now to get up to 34. I don't think they have 17 points. What, like, a 12 drop in a Vibranium is 16. They need 17. Panther? Uh, Panther's freaking huge. That's a good call. Yeah, you're right. Wolfsbane. 34. Yo, do we fucking tie again? We tie again, chat. We tie again. They do not change their play. This is one of the times they don't change their play because it's literally the most points that they can put out. And we're going to tie them. Double tie with Kang. What an insane match. Dude, if they back away. They didn't. Okay. Vibranium? Wolfsbane? <laughs> I really wish... I really wish there was like a laugh emote. <laughs> like... Uh, <laughs> Look at this, round three! No cubes lost from either player, chat. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever seen it? Oh my goodness. Mirror dimension. All right, let's play in the mirror dimension. Because mirror dimension could potentially become deep space and that'd be problematic. Um, Wave too early. Morph? Kang? Venom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're here for round seven and no one lose health? We'll find out. We'll find out, Oro. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so if I play Venom here, it does nothing, right? Haha, -ha, funny, funny. If I Galactus the location, will his text come into effect in time? Probably not, right? The cards destroy before the location destroys.
No way. They were a Mr. Negative deck this whole time. That's a really cool negative variant that we did not get to see for very long. But I was a fan of it. I was here for it. Look at that. Look at that golden Kirby Venom. Look at that golden Kirby Shuri. Oh, God, I love it. Uh, do we Kang? I guess we might as well, right? I guess we might as well. Our only real plays are... Oh, my God. Actually, I love our real plays. It's Venom into Negasonic. Mm, okay, that's not really all that great. Because we just end up destroying the Iron Heart. They might change their play though. Probably not. If I add six to the other lanes, did I win? I think so. I didn't pay that close attention, unfortunately. Oh wait, this does matter because it'll it'll make the wolf's bane smaller. Oh no, wait, this is the wolf's bane. There is no wolf's bane. It's Valkyrie. What am I talking about? I did not actually pay attention to whether or not we won that. All right, so that's my bad. I should have retreated. They did fist bump me, so I'm gonna fist bump them back. All right, I guess like turn six Galactus is always like a cool possibility we can do. Got rid of their Zola, made a zero zero pig. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I'll be okay with that. Carnage the pig. Feed the carnage the pig. Mirror dimension. Oh no, now that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Morph Destroyer, do it. Called it. Sometimes I can call it, you know? Sometimes I can call it. Um. Shuri and Nimrod might be okay. Oh my goodness, we got the Galactus. I mean, the thing is, is like, I don't think we play the Galactus, right? Galactus just loses. I'm pretty sure the move here is Destroyer. Ooh, nice. We dodged the Valkyrie because of that silly play. Didn't find the Venom, unfortunately. That would have been nice. We could have Electrode Venomed. So it really is just the Destroyer that we play. Yeah, double New York is a fun time, right? And I think this wins it, right? We give up on this New York, which will let us win the vault because Nimrod will come into here. And then Nimrod comes over here for 12 and 15. Even if they move Destroyer over here, we neutralize Destroyer versus Destroyer. We're adding 12. And I don't think they move this destroyer. I think they leave it be. Nice. Wait, did they... Did they play nothing?
Wait, why did they play nothing? Why did they play nothing? They had seven cards in hand. Did mom tell them they had to leave? Their mommy just tell them to get off the phone? I feel cheated. All right, guys, I'm, I'm taking this to silver. It's just been a little too weird, right? Improving grounds. Yeah, he just left. He just left. We have 10 tickets. Let's take it to silver. Why not? Let's just take it to silver. We weren't doing well in proving grounds. That's that's the sad the sad truth of it. We have the electro, which is nice. Kang this early in the game is actually... Again, I want to hold Kang as a surprise card in Conquest. I don't want to play it early, although it could give us more information about what they're doing than what we are doing. But we see Bass. That's a lot of information. So that's either Bounce or Negative. Wow! Matella Tiger, great to see you in chat, bringing in that uh, pink VIP entrance. Uh, I haven't, I haven't. I don't think anything's up there, but uh, I haven't checked. Um, the double snap there, where we both snapped each other at like the same time, honestly scares the living shit out of me. So you like the cloning vats collector, but you are okay with the fact that I have super flow and you don't. Right? That's what I'm understanding here. Okay, this fucking sucks because I'd love to use the carnage over here, but I can't because I need to do this. Hmm. Let's do this. They got a lot of stuff to bounce. That's true. So maybe that's their entire plan. Right now, Galactus doesn't run Carnage. So now they think we are not Galactus. They feel kind of safe, right? We could go Destroyer. We could. That's a possibility. We could also go pig. We could go pig, electro, carnage, get an even bigger carnage. I actually don't think Galactus is the run here. I mean, we could also just Galactus, right? We could also just Galactus, but this is turn. Oh, this is an eight cube game. How do we win if we just Galactus? I guess there's ways. Let's go for it. Oh shit. Okay, they can't stop the G-Man. I almost thought they stopped the G-Man the there, unhelpful Yoda. I saw those three cards come down. I was like, oh, do they get above seven? All right, so this destroys some stuff, but none of their kitty prides. Does get rid of both of their collectors, which is pretty good for us. I need to get priority, I think. I think the idea here is to get priority. All right, let's play Spider Ham to find out what their what their most expensive card is, and then we'll play Kang. This is a combo I had not thought about before. Spider Ham and Kang on the same turn to get information. Let's check it out. Wow, they filled up because they're scared of... They were an Agatha deck? 
Yo, they were Agatha the whole time? Agatha Bounce in silver. Did we go to Proving Grounds? We didn't go to Proving Grounds, right? I mean, all they got up to was 18. Yeah, Agatha all along. Good to see you in chat, uh, Sandeneo. Good to see you in. Yeah, Agatha all along. Absolutely unhelpful Yoda. I, I can't believe this, guys. I mean, I was feeling pretty spicy about it, but look what just happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just Destroyer for the 16 power. And then Agatha, does Agatha take the same RNG? Wait a second, does Agatha make the same decisions? I don't know if Agatha makes the same decisions, right? And now Agatha always plays herself, right? 5,000% Agatha plays herself right now as a 14 power card. This is hilarious. So I can do this, this, and this. Nah, F null. F null. I want the Agatha to crumble to the power of my Negasonic Warhead teenager. That's what I want. Look at this. Boop. I think Noel would have definitely won it for us as well, though, Metella Tiger. I mean, definitely, but I just wanted to destroy the Agatha. There we go. All right. Eight cubes, Silver Conquest, turn uh, round one, match one. We did utilize the Kang. We utilized the Kang in conjunction with Spider-Ham to learn that our opponent was an Agatha deck one turn earlier very well disguised agatha deck by using that knowledge we then decided to use teenage warhead to demolish the agatha after being played that was that was some fun stuff it was a little quick and easy amen amen this person is not playing move or they're saying not playing move is awesome i guess yeah, Agatha was cloning Kitty, too, which was just, like, the perfect bounce play, right, Unhelpful Yoda? That was so well hidden. So well hidden. Uh, Quinjet. Yo, hit the dino. Hit the dino. Hit the dino, Ham. Please hit the dino. I'm actually okay with staying in this, right? Because we got Galactus, Destroyer, Shuri, Kang. Like, we got a really good hand. Luke Cage? Yep, hit the dino. Called it. Your Agatha would have filled right so fast. Yeah. Same, same, Yoda, same. What did they say? I missed the emote. It's okay. Oh, they spider hammed my destroyer. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. The arg. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll put Shuri over here. We can play Kang next turn. Um, I'm honestly thinking Shuri into Pig. If we top deck uh, Nimrod, then it's Shuri into Nimrod, though. All right. Do we Kang this turn? I don't think we Kang yet. Right, it's turn one. This is a seven turn game as well.
Uh, we can't Shuri Galactus, unfortunately. Oh my god, we can Shuri Galactus. What the absolute balls. Let's fucking go. See, we couldn't have done that before because Shuri would still be in the lane, but he just moved it for us. Snap, 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 snap. <laughs> Let's go, Bubba. Let's go, eight cubers. <laughs> Oh no, they did play something here. What is it? Is it less than 14 power? Yeah, it's less than 14 power. Thank you, Magneto. <laughs> That's the goofiest silver run I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Oh. Do they concede? Did we just get like a gold ticket from two concedes? <laughs> Oh, Magneto is so cool. <laughs> this deck is nuts. This deck, this deck has a hundred percent silver conquest. Rin weight. Rin <laughs> channel of mispronunciations and misplays. Chat win rate. Let's see if we can keep it going. Oh my gosh! Not even just on like the overall chain. Like we've done. 10 to 0, haven't we? No, no, didn't we lose the first conquest and then they just bolted? What happened on the first one? I forgot. I forgot. Metella Tiger? Ooh, Snow Guard? Um, that card might be fun on a hot location. Uh, it's it's gotta be one of the prettiest, absolute most gorgeous animations in Snap, though. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. That needs to be a channel alert. I need a or a, a um, channel command, right? To be fair, I need to find uh, some of those. Find a notepad. Keep up with it. Altar of Death. You kind of forget that hot locations exist ever since Conquest came out. Yeah, they're still out there, Oro. They still exist. Yo, so check this out, chat. I tested this interaction earlier today. Venom will eat Negasonic, and Negasonic's effect won't go off because she won't be there once Venom is done resolving. And then we just get an 8-power Venom. Because of cloning vats. Oh, we could have Galactus next turn. That's a good point. I'm kind of glad we didn't, though, because that's a little scary. Kind of hard to come up with that seven power. I think I'm just going to do this. I don't get the snap. Yo, Healy, good to see you in chat. So same for Carnage and Negasonic? Yeah. I believe so, Healy. I would believe so, 100%. Now, I haven't tested that specifically, but based off of my Venom testing, I would say so. That's a good point. Maybe wave isn't all that great. Maybe wave is the miss the missing point because even when I wave, it feels bad because I don't have the mana after wave for the next turn. If they play, if they play pig middle, I need to Galactus left. If they play pig left, I need to Venom middle. Ooh, Shang-Chi. Do they change? Okay, wait, 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 chat. Now that we've seen that, do they change their play? Do they change their play? And I'm going to say that they don't, actually. I'm going to say that they don't. No, they do. They do. They do. They change the play. 
Maybe a little ghost spider to pull Shuri off of her lane. That won't work though, right? Because if you pull Shuri with ghost spider, you've burnt the chance. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, so maybe it's pig left now, right? Because they changed their play. And we can't venom left. Or if we think they changed their play, then we just do this, right? Anyway, well, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Galactus emote and Venom mid. Unhelpful Yoda's trying to f forehead this. All right, so if they if they Shang Chi over here, then we're screwed, right? I don't think they changed their play. Most most everyone changes their play. I don't think our opponent changes their play. All right, cool. Woo! Oh, yeah, you're right. They have prios, so the pig would have survived on left as well. Good call, Sand. Good call. I didn't even realize that. How do I pronounce your name? This is the, the channel of mispronunciations and misplays, but um, I try not to mispronounce uh, y'all's names, and I'm, I'm, I'm choking over it. I want to call you Nao? Nao? For your last part of the name, but just let me know what you'd like to be called. Sand and Ao. Sand and Ao. Sand and Ao. Sand and Ao. I think I'm I think I'm getting there. Sand Ao. Sand and Ao. I appreciate you working with me again. Channel mispronunciations and misplays, but I, I really don't want to mispronounce y'all's names, you know? Their name was not playing move, and that's true. We just got a gold ticket with this deck. That is... Did, didn't we just lose like three times in the Proving Grounds and then take this into silver and steamrolled it? I don't think this deck is good, but we'll take it into another silver. Uh, Chad, I do want to take a, a quick, uh, quick break. Uh, get a drink. Uh, make some water. You know how it be. Uh, while we're on the BRB screen, I am going to run a little bit of ads. Uh, my apologies. That's to localize the ads here so that they don't pop elsewhere. Um, and, you know, check out the cute pet pics. They're on the BRB screen. If you want your pet pic on the BRB screen, I will be uploading them this week before the week's over. I don't have that much time left. But if you'd like your pet hosted here live on Twitch.tv, hit up our Discord. We share... Pretty cool. You know, we share Marvel Snap variants. We talk about Marvel Snap. We talk about life. But most importantly, we got a channel there with the, the cutest pets that exist across the nation. In fact, the whole world. Because you guys are awesome. Uh, chat. We'll be right back with more Kang action. I, I can't believe this is working. Let's find out if we can uh, make it work all the way. Shall we? BRB.
Well, hello everybody out there in TV land. And thank you so much for sticking with this through our BRB screen. This is a brand new voice modification. It's not up for channel points yet, but there's a lot of new AI voice modifications. This one's called Jeff. They all have to let me know how you guys feel about it out there in chat. Really great to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, after a few messages, we had to run a few messages and then we were right back. Uh, how to go mix those hydrogen and oxygens together, make ourselves some water. Uh, but you know, while we were away, our good buddy, um, unhelpful Yoda, redeemed the role for VIP. So we're going to see if we can't get that working. Let's go over to the snap screen. I think the, uh, there it is. There's the dice. Alrighty. Uh, let's switch over here to Chad. Guys, does this sound more like a Chad to you? Chad here is going to go in and roll the dice for Unhelpful Yoda. Unhelpful Yoda is looking for a 9. Will Yoda get it for VIP? Chad's here to let you know. NXIA 11. Unfortunate. Sorry about that, Yoda. Um, didn't quite get it this time. Thank you for spending your channel points. Uh, guys, those were some uh, voice modifications. You can use your channel points to redeem uh, voice modifications and change my voice live on stream at any time. Um, apparently Beast and Zola will not trigger Negasonic either. Ooh, nice. That makes sense. I kind of get it. That's kind of cool. Alves, Redeeming Narrator. Well, heroes, let's go ahead. And start off on our silver journey. It looks like the timer's not working. The narrator is definitely running, but the timer's not showing up on screen. What a disappointment. Let's go ahead and run a lift and play some King. Hello, PDK. PDK, wonderful to see you. We've got the narrator voice going on right now. I am doing a ice cam, a cold cam roll with my foot to fight off the planter face of Sidus. We're just hanging out. Absolutely, Gary. Thank you so much. I really enjoy that. You guys know I love my dad jokes and puns. My sock is completely what? I think this bottle of open door. Can I mean every that? That is a correct assessment of what's going on below me at this moment. That's okay. I stretched my foot a little bit. We'll just uh, deal with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip this turn because there's nothing to do. Get excited. Gonna rock the Nick Fury. Oh, wonderful. Uh, thank you again for the voice modification there. Appreciate that, all this. Uh, my, my, my sock is completely soaked. This ice can roll did not work. We're just going to do, we're just going to do hand foot massages while I sit here and play. Yeah, the Nick Fury changes are absolutely amazing. Uh, I haven't played them any, uh, myself. I know Owen Lee. You guys know I talk about Owen Lee. I'm going to stop promoting him until he gets affiliate. That'll give him something to work towards. <laughs> uh, but I know he's been playing with the the Nick as well tonight. Um, I haven't tried it out. I'm, I wanted to see if I can get Kang to work in Conquest. Yeah, Narrator's a great one, Chrome. I love it. Love it. Yeah, it curves so well with Agent and Dinosaur, for sure. It's just, I, I'm really glad they made that change. It was a... A necessary change, in my opinion. Uh, let's go Electro here. Ooh, Gooey redeeming random. Which random voice modification will we get? Uh, Magic Chords. Hey, 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 Gooey. A little auto-tuned Magic Chords for you. Thank you again for redeeming voice modification. Random. Um, do we king here? Probably not, right, chat? King in here is probably not the best move yet. Um, I don't know what the best move is, because they all look like they suck. <laughs> I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> Thank you, Gooey. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, I, I seriously hate everything that's going on here. Uh, in this in this scenario that we find ourselves in chat. This is some sad stuff I think I just do this though, and we get the uh, Nimrod over here, which probably isn't enough Not enough, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try Biblically accurate What is wait wait wait? What's biblically accurate? Uh, 
Oh, oh, yes, biblically accurate, uh, GC, because I have the voice of an angel. I got you, I got you. What the heck is this ham variant? Oh, a little venomized variant for you. This one's going to be a fun one. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to split it once we get some boast, uh, boasters, boosters, some boosters. Oh, I think we might be able to win this one. I mean, a 30 power destroyer is pretty big, right? And they are surfer. Does surfer go over 30? I don't think surfer goes over 30, right? Let's find out. Let's find out what spider ham hits. No, it's silly. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Killmonger, okay, interesting enough. Nova's gonna boost it up some, and then, um... Dazzler. All I have to do is beat 8 mid? I mean, that feels really good, right? 8 mid should be really easy to do. Like, really easy to do. Oh, because it hits the the ninja. This pops down a little bit. Negasonic and something. I actually think uh, we don't need to do that. This is going to be seven power, and then this is eight. I think this is just fine. They were treated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just for the record if we definitely didn't have the win there they retreated after the Kang Right, I think that's a Kang win in my opinion We definitely had the win there and maybe we should have just played without the Kang and took the uh, extra cubes But I'll take what I can take. I really have to fix this. We, we messed with this a little bit earlier on stream And it's still not it's still not in a good spot. So I really just gotta, I really just gotta fix it, chat. Get it back on the uh, the desk a bit. What do we got here? Carnage? No, we never play Carnage on Curve. That's just not the way this deck is made. Carnage on Curve is not what we want to go for. Uh, now Electro on Curve is rather good. Um, and probably on Atlantis. Atlantis is excellent for. Our good, good friend, Galactus. Oh gosh, everything's falling apart. I'm sorry, chat. I'm I'm really sorry. This is all kinds of messed up. You've been using Negasonic with Spider-Ham and Jeff because you wanted to use all your new cards in a deck and it weirdly works. Dude, I'm, I'm a pro. We, uh, I'm a pro? No, 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 I didn't mean I'm a pro. I am pro at the idea of just playing new cards like take your 12 most recent cards and just play them um it's it's actually a lot of fun we did that yesterday and it's a great way to try out your new cards and just kind of goof around improving grades proving grounds is a fantastic low stress area to get that kind of stuff going on uh speaking of low stress what do we do here go dice roll Oh, Crush looking for VIP. All right, we'll take a look at that. Um, we have four. Did I just bust open the Electro right now? I think I bust open the Electro. All right, Crush, let's see if you can get you a three. Now, what I'm about to pull up here is just the dice, right? It's just the die. It's actually just one die, uh, not multiple dice. Uh, but this is not your roll, okay? This is the previous roll. There it is. You, Crush, are looking for a three to grab one of the last. There's only two left. Cheap VIP slots. Can you get it? Can Crush get a three? Oh, I missed. Oh, no, did I just end turn? Oh, my fucking God. I didn't have my finger on the dice, chat. Chat, I didn't have my finger on the dice. Chat. Chat. I am, I am so sorry. Okay, Crush, let's try this again. 
All right, will you get a three? Can Crush get a three? Let's see. <laughs> uh, a one, a one. So I didn't end my turn for that one. Um, uh, but unfortunately, you didn't find the three. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ban him for it? No, 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 no. It's my fault. Oh, Alves saying no nah again. Again, Alves. All right. Let's see about it. Let's see about it, Crush. It looks like Alves is trying to get you a three again. Will it happen? Let's find out. Ooh, a nine. Three threes stacked on top of each other, trying to act like a parent. But not quite the three that you were looking for. Appreciate you doing that, Alves. Go! Dice roll! Oh my goodness. Gooey's like, no. Again. Again, again. We need a three for Crush. Will Crush get the three? Oh my goodness. One off. One off. That's really close. Appreciate you, Gooey. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, we retreat. We retreat. I can't believe I skipped that turn. Go! Dice roll! Uno Mas says Oro. Uno Mas, all the VIPs coming in saying, you know something? Well, let's get Crush VIP. Let's go for it. Let's see. Can we get a three? Can we get a three? I keep missing the button. Oh no, a five. It just keeps inching one upward. Man, guys, I appreciate it, but we 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 didn't quite get crushed the VIP yet. And before long, it will not be as cheap as it is. There's only two slots to give out at the D12 uh at the D12 die point. Ooh, we hit the Sarah with the uh, pig. That feels pretty good. The amazing spider ham. Um, Electro? Why is Electro this early? Oh, because of Superflow. I'll take it. Why not? Why not? Yo, good Canadian Kai. Yeah, that's a nice spider ham, right? The Venomized. The Venomized spider ham. I can't wait to collect enough boosters to start splitting this bad boy. It looks sick. Looks absolutely sick. Good to see you in chat, good Canadian guy. Welcome in. Welcome in. I can only play King this turn? That doesn't feel good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of a good Canadian guy. I really am. We just Galactus here, right? Let's snap. It's a 1,200 gold, unfortunately. Yeah, this one's one of the expensive ones, PD Kane. But when I saw it, I just had to pick it up. I just had to pick it up. I had the gold left over from buying, like, a, a bundle or something. So, I had to pick it up, you know? Oh, my God. What a bro. So good. That was such a good play by them. Oh my goodness. I should have used Kang. I should have Kanged it, chat. I should have Kanged it. Mmm. Mmm. You haven't gotten many great variants in your shop yet, deity? You have 2k gold just waiting on one? There you go. Spider Pumba? It does kind of look like, well, it's gone now. But almost like a Timon and Pumbaa-esque spider ham for sure. Alright, well let's play the king and see what happens. We could go Nimrod Carnage, which is actually kind of cool. But it's not enough, right? Five doesn't win either of these lanes. It's just not enough. Yeah. Yo, Drew in the Paradise Crew. Juno, thank you for the gift sub to Drew, bud. I saw that coming. Thank you so much. Guys, Drew coming in. How was the stream, bud? Raising some charity funds? Really appreciate you stopping by, bud. 
Variant gang, yo, that's what I'm talking about, Hot813. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in. Deity, you're working on uh, splitting your symbiote Spider-Man? I dig it. I dig it. I wasn't paying attention. We don't win this, right? We never win this. There's no way we win this. Oh, it's my pleasure to donate, Drew. My pleasure. Yeah, you guys are welcome, Juno. It was great hanging out with you, bud. Um... Yeah, appreciate you. You're exhausted? I bet, bud. Eight hours is a long stream for sure. Yeah, you guys, you, you hit that follow button on Drew. He did a great charity stream today, uh, raising money for um, mental health, which is just a real important thing. Really appreciate you, Drew. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. We are trying, chat, we are trying to make Kang work in Congress. Conquest. We did win a gold ticket with Kang, um, and it was the most abnormal silver run I have ever seen. Some insane stuff happened. Um, and, and Kang probably got us a couple of those cubes, to be honest. But yeah, we're on the Kang quest, for sure. Kang in Congress. Yes, yes. <laughs> Channel of mispronunciation and plays, misplays for sure. Um, do we just try to go for Polaris? Are we Polaris gamers? I mean, by Polaris, I mean Wave. They beat our Galactus last turn with Polaris. And I'm wondering if, if we Wave right now. Mm, I kind of like going the Electro route more. Oh, actually, I don't because of Dream Dementia, right? Yes. Yes, we got to get Kangris. Yeah, they need to do something to Kang. He, um, he don't work out too well. And I like, even if you made Kang a four drop, for instance, like, it wouldn't make a difference because you still just use them whenever you use them. So maybe it would make a difference because if you use him when you top deck, you get a free draw. So that's kind of cool, you know? So maybe if he was cheaper, you could top deck him more and use him as a free draw mechanic. But, eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, they took Krakoa out, which I thought was a fun and interactive location where you had to empty your hand to improve your random turn five, but they leave Dream Dementia in? Ah, ah, guys, Dream Dementia is the worst. Turn five is plagued by Dream Dementia, not Krakoa. Judging me? Drew, I'm 100% positive there is a clip of you stating that Galactus is the best card in Marvel Snap. There is... I am... I, I've never been more positive of anything in my life. I am 100% positive there's a clip of you saying that. You're deleting it? Oh, I'm about to go download it before you delete it then, you know? You never said it? I saw it happen. I saw it happen. You got me tempted now. Wait a second. Shit. I gotta get in on this real quick here, chat. D D D. Let's see here. I can't let him delete the evidence. Um. <laughs> um. Uh. Let's see. Whoops. Whoops. Whoops videos uh what do we do here to win i have no clue how we win this Noel, i guess and we hope that we don't find shang chi i've seen it that's right i've seen it i've seen it already uh, let's see here broken combos challenges rip stature deck hmm Wow, Twitch makes it so hard to find clips. Oh, there it is. Drew admits. Let's pull this up real quick. Wait a second. Wait a second, guys. We're going to see this live. Talk about it. Um, Drew doesn't have tears left. Oh, man. SD got a hold of the clip this morning. They buffed Nimrod after. <laughs> they got they got hold of it beforehand, right? 
Fake content? Fake content? Let's see something about this. Dude, Drew, you, you did an amazing job doing the... Uh, that, that's a hard thing to raise money for. So, you did great, man. You did great. By the way, good to see you in, Squad Supreme. Good to see you in. Alright, so if I just click this, right? And then do a little click here, for instance. Is this Drew? Is this Drew? Yeah, see you guys? Right there. Right there, without a doubt. I told you he said it. I told you he said it. And, and he wasn't afraid to admit it. <laughs> Yikes, indeed. AI generated? I don't know. You guys think that's a deep fake? I think it's deep fake? Okay, okay. Interesting. A deep fake. I wasn't aware that was possible. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are we doing here? Chat, wait a second. I have forgot. We are playing Marvel Snap here. All right. Let's not forget that we also have to be playing Marvel Snap. We're, we're in silver. Deep fake on Twitch. There you go. Someone took your identity. There's more than one D -D Drewski out there. Um... I'm going for the I'm going for the teenage Shuri line. It's insane, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. Oh. Now really, uh I the big reason why I did choose to do the um the Galactus deck here, Drew, is because like King just works the best in Galactus, or at least I believe. My other big thought is that Kang will be good in control uh, with Daredevil. Um, also, a big thing is I wanted to do this play. This Negasonic Shuri into Galactus play has is just like everything I've ever wanted in my life. So that was part of it, too. Yeah, Nimrod slapping is really good. Um, so I actually built this deck before today's OTAs. Um, and I really love Nimrod. I think it's a fun deck. I love the Destroy archetype. I also really love Shuri. But trying to blend them together is kind of, uh, kind of difficult to do. You know? It's kind of difficult to do. Yeah, it's a fun combo, right? We just... Uh, just throw down the warhead first and then we shuri it then we have an empty lane for our galactus so this is what going to be a 28 power galactus on turn six uh did did i confirm if shang will blow up dracula behind invisible woman i still have not squad i still have not you know what's funny about that right there i still win the game i still win the game because it's a still a 14 power galactus Nah, that joke felt great. That joke felt fantastic. <laughs> now, if the joke would have hit me into Fisk Tower, we would be in we would be in trouble. That did give them a 50-50 chance to win, but look at that. Yeah, it feels bad for them, right? They're probably a little upset. They're at one health right now. Do you think they concede to that? I kind of hope they do. Right now, this deck has a 100% silver, uh, silver conquest win rate. 100%. Now, to be fair, we've only done two games, one conquest, and this is our first game of our second conquest, but it's <laughs> it has been surprisingly performing whereas in the proving grounds it was horrible also let's get this dice out of here no one's rolling for vip right now we got kittens to look at the discord community pets which you know guys if you've got a furry or feathery or scaly pet that you'd like hosted live on twitch.tv my discord is where you can submit those photos you love cats? Me too, Drew. They're a big fan. I, I like dogs too. I really do. I grew up a dog person personally. Uh, we had an animal rescue. In fact, it was primarily dogs. But as I've grown in my older age, I've appreciated cats a little bit more. Uh, specifically, they're over... Um, 
Yo, Drew, coming in with the sub. Appreciate you, Drew. Now, I know I'm a little biased, all right? You've got some good emotes, but from my biased perspective, you just got the best channel emotes out there on Twitch. Really appreciate you picking up those galaxy hearts. Sub for the cats and, and for me, of course. For me, of course, as well, right? Right? Uh, but mostly the cats. Uh, good Canadian, Kai. You're trying to think up, Do I? or you're trying to save up. Do I think Thanos is worth buying? Um, you know how we say around here? Our, you, you only spend tokens on things that spark joy for you as a player. Now, that being said, I think Thanos is uh, a joy-sparking card for most players. It fits, like, take Galactus. Galactus basically fits in a Galactus deck. But you can make a Death Destroy deck with Thanos and Killmonger. You can make a controly type deck thanks to the energy ramp and the change location of the stones. You can make a Lockjaw deck with Thanos, or you can make a Thanos deck with Lockjaw in it. So Thanos is a little bit more versatile, so I think it has a higher chance to spark joy. It has sparked joy for me personally, and I've enjoyed spending the tokens on it, uh, but it's always about does it spark joy for you so um that's my take on thanos it's a it's a very versatile card fits in a lot of different types of deck i didn't pay attention to the kang turn i didn't pay attention to the kang turn i don't know what happened with kang um that's very unfortunate don't think competitive Thanos, uh, competitive at the moment. I'm kind of interested in trying to pull Thanos back into Conquest. Because I think there might, like, it's just the tools are really good in the Thanos deck. All the stones are disgustingly good. Uh, Quillfair, uh, there was one of the first cards you bought with Token, and he's a ton of fun. Yep, so Quillfair enjoyed it, good Canadian guy. Um... Cats are just like babies. They remain babies for up to 20 years. Amen, Oro. And my baby is right there at that 20-year mark. Wasn't paying attention either, uh, Deity. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. S you'll try saving for him? There you go, good Canadian guy. Yeah, no regrets on the 6K. There you go, Drew. I've, I've really enjoyed Thanos as well. I really have. What is happening? Do I win if I do this? I don't even know, Chad. I don't even know. You don't even regret Lad? Lad is fun. Lad is fun. I was there when you bought Lad, Drew. Uh, I feel like you were pressured into it a little bit. Uh, but I like Lad. I think Lad's a good deck. Uh, a fun card. Fun card. Maybe not competitive, but a fun card. Is it 6k worthy? I don't know. I think I'm going back to Team Horde Tokens. Personally, I think I'm going right on back to Team Horde Tokens. We lose this every time, right? But it doesn't matter because, like, retreating means nothing. Oh, I can't do that because of Electro. Duh. Yeah, I think we just lose, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, him deferring his decision to chat. He did quite a bit. I don't know if I was there for the entire hour and a half. I might have been. I might have been. I really am. I think I'm Team Horde Tokens again, Drew. I was that way for a long time, and I think I'm switching back to it. They've been talking about acquisition changes, acquisition changes, changes coming to the acquisition system. And I think that the safest, the safest choice in the face of change is to stabilitize and be consistent and the best way to do that is to hoard your tokens and hoard your um your reserves so that whenever they make the changes to the acquisition system you have a stockpile of resources to play around in that new acquisition land um if any of that makes sense so i'm i'm strong horde team horde again without a doubt 
Sphinx your stuff on Spider Pig, good Canadian guy. A spider Pig's a lot of fun. It gives you information, and the animation is beautiful, right? Now, is it competitive? I try not to speak too much on that because I'm not, I'm not the best, you know, at knowing if things are competitive. Um, I just kind of net deck, you know. But it's a fun card. It's a very fun card. Do, 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 do. Ham was an easy decision. Also, he's only 3K, right? So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's a good call out, Juno. People are impatient. Absolutely, Drew. People are impatient. And uh, the thing is, if you are patient, especially in... This is a gotcha mobile game, right? Don't forget that, like, mechanically, this is... Mechanically... This is a card battling game. Market-wise, and all of that, and like, it, it, it's a gotcha mobile game. It's a collecting card game. And you get more benefits from, just think about variant rushes. They're going to come out again, like, eventually. It'll be, you know, who knows? It'll be like some offbeat holiday, like the sea turtles return to sea so we're having a uh, sea turtle variant rush right you're going to be happy you have all of those um reserves just waiting for that variant rush running this uh deck with snow guard instead of wave it just wins you know i i think it was you Matella tiger you made a an interesting uh call like how many times do we actually utilize wave in this deck it's very little like if we don't get electro it just doesn't feel good you know so maybe 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 not snow guard but maybe replacing wave for something is the way to go you know um i'm not even gonna kang him there's no reason to do it Sea Turtle Variant Rush. I'm calling it, guys. I'm calling it. It's a big thing that happens. And, like, uh, so my, my, my stepmom and my dad go to, um, go to Florida a bunch. And there's, like, times in Florida where, like, you're not allowed to have flashlights on the beach because the sea turtles are trying to find their way back home. So... Oh, gosh, we lost it. Maybe I should have kinged that, actually. Maybe I should have kinged that. Whoops. Yeah, Infinite's a downside deity. Um, hitting Destroyer is typically... It, it depends on how the deck has worked, but if you've got a Destroyer deck that utilizes Cosmo, then Ham is good. Like, you feel good about Ham hitting your Destroyer there. But yeah, Ham Ham just hits a lot of good cards, period. You know? Hitting their Ham with death? Yeah, it just becomes like a 9 that they can't do anything with. Yeah, the Pixel Venom over the Bundle Venom. I mean, I, I did it because I have the Pixel Venom with the gold Kirby and the gold background. Uh, and I have this Shuri. So, but I think when I get the... If I get the Venom... Uh, split to Incafy to match the bundled carnage, then I might switch at that point. But I like the gold on gold synergy with Shuri. Yes, you like that one? It's good. I was stoked. So I got Sh uh, Shuri is the card or the deck type. Seron Shuri with Ghost Spider is what got me infinite. And after I got infinite on ladder this season, I decided to dump a bunch of my credits in Shuri to reward her. And we've got two Incafies. We've got the, I think the Pixel Incafy and another one Incafy. But then I rolled this freaking beauty right here. Um... So I'm I'm in love. I am definitely in love with it. I'm a big fan of Shuri. I'm a huge fan of Shuri. Uh, would Wolverine be a decent swap for Wave? Oh, to feed into the Carnage Venom combos. I I like that Quelfear. I actually do like that a lot. I like it a little bit more than Snow Guard. No offense. Uh, but I just don't know how to play Snow Guard. I knew I do know how to play Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have a feeling this is another we lose type scenario. You 
you regret not getting Salvage Land, Shuri? I wonder if that's the one I have, Drew. I don't know. It wasn't a bundle, that's true. So maybe you'll find it somewhere else. I mean, I know this one's not Savage Land Shuri, but I've got another Shuri. Um, Deity, maybe. Would you be interested in watching it? I'm definitely going to play it. If you guys are interested in watching me play the remastered Mario RPG, then I'll stream it. But I'm, without a doubt, I'm going to be playing it. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be down to stream it. I'd be down to stream it. Maybe we just find a day and we just plan for it and we just stream it all in one go or something. Be back in the shop in six months. Yeah, it'll rotate through. Uh, it'll cost us a pretty penny, but it'll rotate through. Uh-oh, Dara's streaming titled has Nimrod in it? Huge Nimrod meta incoming. Maybe, maybe. You gotta put a YouTube video out, right? Don't, doesn't, doesn't the YouTube algorithm dictate the uh, meta? Yo, fuck off! <laughs> Shuri Galactus for the win again! Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is a good deck, but we're winning with it. We're winning with it. That's right, Oro! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm happy that Nimrod got a buff, though. I am. I like Nimrod Destroy, but it's, it's hard to make the payoff feel like it's worth anything, you know? It's really hard to make to make the payoff feel like it's worth anything. All right, battle two. We are still silver conquest win rate one hundred percent with this deck. Not quite sure how. Negasonic Shuri Galactus actually so big brain. I love it, Chrome. I really do. It's it's a really fun combo. And the thing is, is like, um. You like if you don't pull Shuri, right? And you don't pull Galactus, then you have like potentially um potentially Negasonic into Nimrod to go ahead and duplicate your Nimrod. I also really love the fact that Venom eating Negasonic does not destroy Venom. That's also really, really good. Uh here we have Death Domain. I'm actually gonna snap this early because Death Domain is typically so super good for us but we don't have nimrod in hand let me wait let me wait let's wait right we don't have nimrod yet yo tuker good to see you in chat welcome in yeah i needed to wait there for sure yeah venom survives yeah yeah, yeah. i tested it today and it survives and we had some folks in chat test with even beast right and beast will pick up negasonic and beast still survives so it's um it's a fun one yeah how do i pronounce your uh, your name tuker is it like Tucker? It's Tucker, isn't it? It's probably definitely Tucker. Um, channel of mispronunciation and misplays. But if I mispronounce your name, chat, let me know. Um, I'm down for mispronouncing, like, hippopotamus and stuff, which I just pronounced correctly, strangely enough. Uh, but if, if I mispronounce your names, I do just want to kind of work through that. Tucker, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. And I think I've called you Tucker before. Um, but I don't know, we're just, you know... Oh, I, I appreciate the lifeline there saying that it throws everyone off, but let's just be real. This is the channel of mispronunciation and misplaced for a reason. Um, let's see what this does. No, 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 not all the way to infinity. Chill out there, Juno. Chill out. We are trying... First off, we're trying Kang. This is a Kang deck, chat. We're here for Kang. <laughs> Galactus just happens to be the best card that synergizes with Kang. Um, we're trying to make Kang work in uh, Conquest. It's, it's not... It, it ends up being that we just use Galactus instead. Yeah, Kang, Kang. It's all about the Kang. <laughs> Spider Venom Ham. Oh yeah, I love this. Oh, this variant, dude. It's so it's it's an expensive one, but I had to go ahead and pick it up. Like no joke, I saw this 
uh, variant. I saw this variant, and I had my first thought of, that's really expensive. And then my second thought was, but I really like it. My third thought was, for the content, you're a streamer. You're allowed to spend a lot of money on video games now. Don't tell my girlfriend. So I, I got it there, and I went there with it. Yo, Bangers! Thank you for the raid, bud. How was stream? Good to see you coming in. Welcome in, guys, to the channel of mispronunciation and misplays. It's ham, right? Right, Tucker? It's ham, so it's an easy 12. Uh, let's throw Kang down for a moment and find out what they're going to do. Ooh, running some Marvel Snap. I figured you were, Bangers. I figured you were. Welcome in, Raiders, indeed. Channel mispronunciation and misplays. Yo, Tucker, I actually need to get on to the fuck the the tax life, like being able to write some of this stuff off. Probably really important to offset the tiny bit of income. I mean, the millions of dollars I make each month streaming. Right, one hundred million dollars for three years of streaming. That's what you can get on Kick, apparently. Uh, let's not talk about that. Yo, Bangers, good to see you in chat. Stream was good. Got yourself an infinity ticket. There we go. I haven't gotten one yet. I haven't gotten one yet, Bangers. We are trying to make Kang work in Conquest, but there's a problem with it. The main problem with it. Uh, Badgers is we just played King which would have gave us a lot of information about my opponent's turn six but I didn't pay attention <laughs> I didn't pay attention to what the hell happened so I learned nothing I learned nothing but we're gonna go for it anyway you know we're gonna go for it anyway the games are going well we've had a surprisingly a good amount of wins with this what I think is kind of a bad deck um, utilizing Kang but just working in several conquest so I, I'm enjoying it yeah right we have to justify being a well that's what we're doing Tucker for sure yo we gonna be at snapcon you coming to snapcon Tucker let's fucking go are there any VIP tickets left last I looked there was like maybe three left maybe it was six but Yo, Juno, you stoked to get affiliate just so you can get that uh, Canadian money? Made four Canadian pennies, which I think comes out to like, uh, it's like, what, half a penny freedom dollars? <laughs> I'm joking. I got to yank on you Canadians. You know it. That's what us Americans are all about. It's in fun, Jess. We love you. Yeah, that four pennies going to help offset that $1,000 snap bundle buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you want Galactus now? The um, honestly, I, again, Negasonic Teenage Warhead into Shuri into Galactus is one of the just absolute goofiest fun uh, combos to pull off. What is SnapCon Healy? Oh my gosh, what is SnapCon? Yo, let me get you a link right now. SnapCon 2023 is happening in Tampa Bay, Florida in August. And it is the, the largest in-person, community-hosted, fan-hosted, Marvel Snap community-hosted, Marvel SnapCon in ever existence first one to ever happen it's 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 amazing it's the the, the bees and knees um they still have regular tickets they might have vip tickets left uh highly suggested if you're able to fork the trip get there on the very first snapcon ever uh they've got lots of stuff planned i don't know what all of it is but i'm super psyched for it and if for no other reason to get to uh quite frankly just chill and hang out with you guys you know chill and hang out with all the other great content creators all the great viewers the marvel snap community members from youtube from twitter from the discord it's it's just going to be an absolute fun time absolute fun time wish you could go to uh snapcon me too drew me too but maybe next time right we we may there, there will be other gatherings, Drew. We will see each other one day. I, I feel it. I feel it already in my bones. Um, if I had, if I had 
Wolverine in my deck, this would be a good play. I think Wolverine for wave might be the play. But at the same time, right, we, we literally just did the wave, so let's find out. Let's find out. Other side of North America for you, Juno. Oof. You out there on that Cali life, brother? I've never been to Cali myself. Yeah, I'm stoked for this community. I'm glad I'm over here on the East Coast. I'll be able to make it through. Marvel Snap community, best community. Say it again, Tucker. The people in the back didn't hear you. 100% agree with you. Holy smokes. Hit up K-Town? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me about K-Town? What is K-Town, chat? K-Town? K-Town barbecue? Let's fucking go? Yo, is, are we talking Korean barbecue? Because I see a K and I see barbecue, and that's instantly what I'm thinking about, and I fucking love me some Korean barbecue. Um, is it is it this and this? Korean town. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Korean barbecue. Let's fucking go. Yeah, you just made us all hungry as fuck. Uh, come to Cali. It's expensive. No. You want to talk about one of the few places that's more expensive than Washington, D.C.? California. No, thank you. I don't care if you have beautiful weather. I don't care if you're like the media central of the world. I can barely afford rent right now. How the hell am I going to afford Cali? I love you guys out there in Cali, though. I will meet you there, Drew. I will come meet you and hang out one day, potentially. But I'm not moving there to live there forever. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do we snap here? Yeah, why the fuck not? We got Kang, right? Let's find out what they're doing. The rent is too damn high. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yo, they snapped us back? Yeah, no, don't live here. <laughs> don't live here. Don't live near Washington, D.C. I'm, I'm going to move about an hour away and just tell my employment, like, I'm not coming to the office anymore. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. How do we use this information we just got, Chad? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information Kane gave us. <laughs> right? Like, I'll just take the zero power. I'll take the five cost zero power if we just don't unwind that. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I guess we have to play Destroyer, but if we play Destroyer, then they don't play Destroyer, right? Which is a real shame. I I really don't know. I, I'm going to try Destroyer, right? That's what I'm thinking, Tucker. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Metella Tiger, we appreciate our lurkers. I really appreciate that, bud. Collect those pets from Micho's. Come back, redeem them for VIPs or voice modifications or any other fun channel point channel. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to say it again. Channel point redemptions <laughs> that we may have. Appreciate you, brother. Um... Do I snap them here? I don't know. We got like 90% through the turn order. Gonna just go shower and sort out some burgers, in and out burgers. Let's go, Drew. Enjoy that shower, bud. I, uh, I had a shower right before stream, actually. I normally take them in the morning, but it was a long day. I bet you're exhausted, bud. You went hard. You went hard on stream, man. Raising money for mental awareness or mental health. Awareness of mental health and the help of mental health. I loved it. You smell after eight hours? I've, I've smelt for 30 years, bud. It's, um... It's one of our senses. I don't know if you have that one or not. Um, oh, oh, I see. You mean you were stanky. You were stanky. I got you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you, Drew. Uh, what are we doing here? Did they try to Sean Chi us? Do I Galactus? What do I do? I don't know what to do. What do I do? So we could Galactus. Let me think about this for a second. They're going to Shang-Chi, right? They're going to Shang-Chi over here to get rid of that destroyer.
Yeah, because I don't see the Shang-Chi. Galactus would win. No would win too, though, right? But if they play the Shang-Chi here and then two power here, yeah, let's do Galactus. My fear being that if they play the Shang-Chi here, then we lose that, but we gain it on the Null, but then all they have to do is find uh, four energy to play two power? Yeah, let's go for it. Have a great night, Drew. Thank you for hanging out with us, bud. Go, go have a, a good shower and a good rest. You deserve it. A well-deserved rest indeed. You right, Juno. You right. Opponent retreated. Yo, guys, I think... <laughs> Not just a retreat, a concede. Chat. We found the secret to conquest, or at least silver conquest. It's Kang. The emotional fatigue that you inflict on your opponent with Kang is something they cannot overcome. And I am so somewhat confident of this. You see how many infinite tickets we have, chat? Zero. We have zero infinite tickets. What are we going to do? We're going to take this deck. Do we change wave out for Wolverine? We did utilize wave one time to great effect. And what's nice about wave, I'm going to leave wave in. I'll leave wave in and I'll tell you why. Is it be it helps empower Nimrod. We can go wave Nimrod Carnage. And that is a good line. I think wave into Galactus, not necessarily a, a good line. But I think I want to go with wave. Also, if we come up against like a bounce deck or something like that, we might be able to use Lives wave as a counter. So, although we haven't had much utilization out of wave yet, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. I just slipped on uh, water that's under my desk. Um... I don't know if you guys, you guys probably weren't here for this earlier. Um, I have plantar fasciitis. Uh, if this is your foot, the, the plantar fasciitis or the plantar tendon like runs along the bottom of your foot like this. And what happens when you have plantar fasciitis is that tendon constricts and tightens up. And then when you wake up in the morning and you step and you stretch your foot out, that pain of it stretching back out really, really hurts. So one of the things that we have to do for that is we take a cold water bottle and we roll it to re-stretch that out and exercise it back out. So I was doing that and the water lid fell off and now I have a bunch of water under my desk. Um... Which is, is where that's at. It is a little rough, Tucker, but it, it happens. And, and we're able to manage it with good soul support and uh, exercises. It's been flaring up the last two days, but it's getting a lot, lot better. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. I had no clue it was a thing until I got it. So I'm trying to just, I don't know, speak about it sometimes. But that being said, chat, we're going to take a quick BRB break. Uh, we are going to run an ad for it. But that is so that ads are happening when we are on BRB break. And not while we're playing Snap. Um, on the BRB screen, there are clips. Those are clips of the channel that you have taken out there in chat. So remember, if uh, this is a really funny mispronunciation, a hilarious misplay, or maybe something that makes me look good, maybe, uh, feel free to clip that up so it shows up on the uh, BRB screen. You like the hat? Thank you, Juno. I found this at Sakura Mitsuri, the Japanese street festival in Washington, D.C. So, you know, just a lot of geeky anime and video game stuff on sale there. Uh, I got this coat here, too. This guy here. Got it at Secure Mystery as well. Uh, but chat, without further ado, we're going to take a quick BRB break. Um, and I will see you for Gold Conquest with Kang. Kang, we do it? You bet we, Kang.
Yo, what's up chat? This is an AI voice modification that changes my voice. Oh, excuse me, on the fly. This one's called Dro. The voice modification program I use recently updated to add a lot of new AI modification options, including Dro. This one. You can uh, use your channel voice to change my voice live on stream at any time. Um. And uh, this one's not available yet, but we're going to cycle through these occasionally to see if you guys like them. And I take suggestions and change the channel points based off of those. Um, here's Agatha, you ready for this? Yeah, does it sound like Agatha to you guys? This is Agatha. Why, well, anyway, chat, either way, we are doing another cold can. Uh, we're really under our foot for the plantar fasciitis, which Agatha, being an old lady, is probably appropriate for. Uh, but more importantly, we are on a king quest. A quest to take king. Oops, that was the wrong button. Now we're normal voice. Uh, to take king through gold. We've won two silvers with our Galactus King deck. And now we're gonna try to win a gold. So let's let's just try this out, chat. Let's run into it. Oh my gosh, I I'm a big fan of this song. We might have a little bit of mumblecore in this uh, in this song. I, I don't know if I can keep myself from mumbling the lyrics. All right, ready? Sharpest man in the sea, he's shark fighter. And that's how we get DMCA'd, is because I've got the best voice. I can perfectly hit all those notes. I know I can. That's why I use a voice modifier. Um, all right, we're in it. We're in gold. We got focus up. Got to put our gold caps on. Gold caps it is. Ah, oh, God, I love this song. I love this song. I feel bad for the VOD. The VOD doesn't get the beauty of the Aquabats Shark Fighter. Yo, if you're a VOD watcher and you're watching this video on demand, go check out the Aquabats. Maybe They're amazing. Right. Maybe. Yo, speaking of amazing, what about Bay Ramazoon? Bay Ramazoon coming in with the follow. Thank you, friend, for that follow. Really appreciate it. Getting us closer, guys. Only 20 follows away from our big 1,500 follower goal. What's going to happen when we hit 1,500 followers? Well, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. I do not know what's going to happen. That's right, chat. I've got no clue. I've got no clue. What pool is Nimrod in these days? Kaparzel, good to see you in chat, bud. Um, I think pool four? Hyktron, do you know? Hyktron, what do you know? Is it pool four? Pool four, series four. There you go, Kaparzel. Juno's got it. Juno's got it as well. Pool four. Series four. One of the two. Um... Oh my gosh, rolling this cold bottle of water that isn't leaking under my foot feels so good, chat. Oh my gosh. Even if you don't have the incredibly painful plantar fasciitis, this is a fun little massage exercise. I'm not going to lie. Our opponent's playing Agent 13. Okay, the Ebony Maw came out of Agent 13, so that's not as exciting as I thought it was. I thought they were playing some kind of, some kind of spice. Some kind of spice. I think we Galactus Sacred Timeline. Lacrosse balls and less leak risk. Oh, and I can just put those in the freezer to make them cold, huh? I guess I don't really need the cold for the massage technique. It does help a little bit, but I reckon they probably hold uh, cold pretty easily, huh? Uh, this feels bad. This feels really bad. How are we going to beat an Iron Man lane, chat? Is Null enough to beat an Iron Lane, uh, an Iron Man Lane? Cause Shuri doesn't help us any, for Shuri. <laughs> um, uh oh, uh oh, breaking the universe. Don't mind the man behind the curtain, chat. Um, I like that idea, Caparzol. I might look into some lacrosse balls.
I'm thinking I'm thinking so we have prior right they always play here good to see you in chat potent potato so I think we spider ham their turn six play and then we negasonic this turn five play and then we play null I like it potent potato got rid of the spectrum okay and got rid of the namor How big is this guy? 30? We don't snap here, right? We never snap here because we want the two cubes. Wow. Totem 12 decided to call us on it. They thought they could beat us. Spoiler, they could not. All right. So we got two cubes. We did tell our opponent a lot of information, but they told us a lot as well. We've got eight out of their 12 cards now. One of them's an Agent 13, which is weird. Weird. They're playing Agent 13 just to generate a card to confuse us. Probably not. Um, we know Spectrum exists because of Spider Ham. And they've got Namor, Iron Man, Punisher, America, Colossus, Armor. So they're a Spectrum deck. We're probably expecting Wong. We know Spectrum exists. And two other ongoing cards, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, this is a Galactus game. We're playing Galactus now. Let's go. Okay. Claw. Claw. Spectrum Claw. Maybe Wong isn't in this deck? If they have Cosmo, that's going to be a good counter to us, which isn't fantastic. Let's go Negasonic. Nice. Nice. Negasonic into Venom. We're going to consolidate all this power up. I tested this interaction earlier. Venom will not be destroyed. We will just consume Negasonic's power and keep it. So they played a small something. Yeah, Lizard was what they played to get around. Why wouldn't you play Colossus first, though? Colossus was way better first. Way, way, way better. Electro's bad for us here. A Spider Ham. Hit the Iron Man. Okay, that's really good for the pig. Holy smokes. Let's see what their play is. Our play is definitely null. So can they beat 28? All right. We didn't even have to show them the Kang. Let's go chat on the way. Yeah, that was a huge big play Quill. Huge. I think we pass here to get rid of Collapse Mine. I had considered not doing that, but I think we do it. Icebox? What did it hit? Carnage. It hit Carnage. I think I can survive that. Let's go ahead and play Spider Ham, and we'll play it on Icebox. They play on Collapse Mine. That's pretty good. Get rid of their Namor. Sewer system. We play a... Oh, Electro? Come on back here, Carnage. What are you thinking, brother? Uh, we play Electro here. Assemble. Alright, I'm going to play the Carnage here. We need to find a good... They haven't seen our Kang yet. So we still can utilize Kang for bluff snaps. Which we might utilize this next turn. Because that is 
our potential, um, right? They know that we have Galactus, so this is our Galactus turn. So we can snap and we can play Kang. And they'll think it's Galactus. So they might retreat here if they're trying to count up and see if they can beat Kang, uh, Galactus on right. And if they can't, they might just retreat. Wow, they didn't play around Galactus. I know it's not inked, right? And it's not even a grainy. There's not even the WW2 grainy footage cap. That is definitely the best one, Gooey. One of these days, I'll spend my uh, credits on it to pick that up. This sucks. They did change their play. I am. I am. I'm telling you guys, you play Kang, they change their play. Now, he still changed it to the wrong play. Like, they still didn't play around Galactus, which kind of upsets me, because they should. Damn, Destroyer's bad for us. Alright, we're going to have to retreat this one, I think. We have to retreat this one, but... There it is. We wait to see what they do before we make our decision. The snap tells us to go ahead and hit the retreat now. But I personally think, honestly, in Conquest, try not to be a dick. Try not to rope. But if you know you're not going to do anything, wait for 50% of the rope and then hit retreat later. Because you might catch a lucky retreat now. TVA, not fantastic. Not good. TVA not good. We don't leave yet. You rope on turn six to bait out the eight cuber. There you go, Juno. There is, in Conquest, you're not supposed to let the turn timer, like, even then, we ended our turn way too soon for Conquest. Four power, chat. Look at this four power we've got. All right, I'll retreat later early here. I think it's pretty obvious we've got nothing. Oh, it feels so good to roll under my foot, chat. Death's Domain? Death's Domain is good for us in general. It's too early to snap, though. I will Spider-Ham Death's Domain. Got their Spectrum. Okay, nice. There's the Galactus. That's good for us. All we need now is the Nimrod, really. If we can find the Nimrod, we snap. There's the Nimrod. All right, so we snap. We lay Electro down in Death's Domain. We put Nimrod into Death's Domain. We put Galactus into Death's Domain. We win the game. I'm pretty sure this deck's only doing good because it's actually got a Galactus shell in it. I don't think. I mean, we've definitely won some games with Kang. And we've definitely mined our opponent. We had some people just retreat. And I think part of that was because of the mind games of Kang and Galactus. And they just got fatigued and they felt it wasn't worth it. But in Infinite, people aren't going to just retreat like that, you know?
Galactus into Negasonic. Not that it matters. Actually, Negasonic can't win. Negasonic can't do anything. Nothing does anything. We just win. We get the four cubes. They don't have Storm. They don't have Scarlet Witch. There's no way they can contest us. And there's no way we can play either. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, Totem. I guess we do get a play. Uh, we don't reveal any new cards. That would be ridiculous to reveal a new card. And I don't see them not retreating. What the heck? Hella does nothing. Yeah, Destroyer Sapuku. Good to see you in uh, chat, Dr. Raggins. Yo, what was Totem doing there? Yeah, we could have Carnage Sapukud. We could have Destroyer Sapukud. What was our opponent doing there? They just didn't. Uh, chat, what? Is this. Is this secret sauce? All right, that's just the first battle, though. We still have to win two more, chat. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. Kang isn't the new meta breaker for Conquest. Don't even tell your friends that. I'm serious. Do not screenshot this and tweet it out saying this deck is good. Just because we've had 100% silver Conquest and we won one gold Conquest game, that doesn't mean this deck's good, all right? You've been enjoying the Proving Grounds, need to start playing Silvers. I actually think that might be one of the better ways to go about it, Dr. Raggins, is um, to like get a bunch of Silvers and then play a bunch of Silvers, then play a bunch of Golds. Because if you're mixing it up a bunch, um, it's like, it's way harder. When you only have to win one in a row and that's what you're used to, you're not playing necessarily the um, the greatest moves. The yeah, it sucks that tickets end at the end of the season, but it happens. A very original list, GUI. Now we have a challenge, though, right? Now we actually have a challenge. We can put our deck up against a good list. They're very communicative. They haven't been uh, BM yet. We'll see what happens. Yo, my Mark 5 Good to see you in chat, bud. Welcome in. Hello, hello. We're trying to make Kang work in Conquest. Yeah, make it a best of one. I feel you, Dr. Raggins. I, I only make it a best of one if, like, my opponent, like, is showing that that's what they want to do. Otherwise, I, I do try to practice good habits. Yeah, Proving Grounds does have a completely opposite goal for most of it. Kang, you do it. That's right, Mark 5-0. 100%. Thank you, bud. I'm glad you appreciate that title. King now is way, 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 way too early. Pretty sure it's Nimrod. Okay, that's pretty good. That's true, Dr. Raggins. You do get the, uh, when you get a silver ticket, that's at least 20 in the books, right? So winning a, winning a Proving Grounds is just 35. And you can just really crank them out fast, you know? If they have the hammer, then Galactus here is not enough. 
We could Galactus here, but chances are they pull something big out of Lockjaw, right? Is it Kang time? I don't think it's Kang time yet. I think we just need to risk it. I'm just going to risk it. Uh oh. Shit. Should have played it right. Uh, I should have thought about that Thor. I should have thought about that. The mighty Thor was a really smart play. Opponent snapped. All right, take your one cube. You've been farming that way? Yeah, we tried to YOLO that PLG. Good to see you in chat, by the way. Welcome in. Dr. Raggins, I think I said hello. Good to see you in chat. You guys know I'm happy to see you in chat always. You've been farming that way. Now that the stakes are higher, brackets feel lower since I'm not counting on these medals from beating it at all. Yeah, the, the, the amount of medals that you actually needed was really low to get everything in the shop too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, this guy absolutely hates getting one cube at a time. You're right, Gooey. Ooh. Okay, I'm down. Yo, Molars, good to see you in chat, bud. Welcome in, welcome in. I've done a couple boomer snaps when, like, I feel that my opponent cannot see how we win. Like, it's impossible for them to vision it because it's um, unique enough or something. But it's not always that way. They hit our Kang. Now they know we have Kang. I've I've had it work. I've I've like literally when my supplies my surprise play is so abnormal but it is very 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 rare and you also kind of have to fill your opponent out like some opponents who are emote spammers and nerds um will stay in on a boomer snap because they're too invested in the game and they're they're little babies I have to Electro now. Mirror Dimension into Mindscape is funny stuff because then we just see each other's hand, but we still get to keep our hand. Ooh, that's a really weak Lockjaw lane. And we get to keep our hand. Fuck! I played Venom, not Electro! That's a really big rip. I meant to play Electro last turn, not Venom. They don't even look the same. I mean, I guess there's like some gold here and he's got yellow. I just picked the wrong freaking card. Got him. Got him. This guy hates winning more than one cube at a time, but he loves giving us two cubes. It is a beautiful one, isn't it, PLG? And we got our Shuri in here, too, that's got the gold and gold Kirby. That's that's why we're running this Venom and not the Bundle Venom. Because we haven't split the Bundle Venom to synergize with the Bundle Carnage. But this does synergize with my Shuri. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, Juno. Not a clue, but we'll take it. This is a wave game, isn't it? Wave, Nimrod, Venom. Wave, Nimrod, Venom. Venom again. Snap. Picked up the wrestling Venom last week, so you skipped the bundle. Nice. That's a good... That was one of the variants. That's a good example of a variant that I started off not enjoying and not really liking. And the more I look at it, the more I, I like it and I want it. How does the animation work on the Carnage Venom variants? The 3D, I saw it on Twitter. The 3D is super cool. The moon is way back there in the background. Um, we'll take a look at it in a little bit, Juno, uh, since I do have one Carnage split to animation. But I do not have... 
um, I don't have the one in this deck, right? The one in this deck is just the, the flat ink. Flat ink. I like keeping my Inkify at the gray border not necessarily for the color um synergy but because i like the way that it looks kind of like a flat paper card 15 on this hulk that's a big ass hulk you like the gray borders i feel that juno Yeah, it's some it's really about it being like very I don't know paper esque, like not having any of the frame break, not having any of the 3D, any of it. Really, it uh, pulls me up. You yearn for the Dan Hip variant PLG and the Carnage, unreleased and unavailable. I didn't realize that. Yo. Yo, they absolutely hate winning more than one cube at a time, but they love giving us two at a time. Let's freaking go. Yeah, right, Juno? Exactly. It feels like a IRL trading card game. It's, it's kind of cute. Cube donator. Oh, hit my knoll. Not my Galactus. All right, so I think I do Carnage here just to try to have some priority. Yo, coach, always good to see you in chat, bud. Welcome in. How is your Thursday doing, my friend? Hope it's been treating you well. Um, think, think, think. This is too early, and I can't do anything. No, this is perfect. Snap. Snap. This has been going well. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that, Coach. And thanks for the game recommendation. I, I love roguelike uh, deck builders. Coach recommended a game that's in demo for me right now. Uh, so we're going to try that out on Variety Tuesday. If I actually... I know. I know, chat. I missed Variety Tuesday this week. We're doing it next week. I promise. Well, I'm not going to promise because I don't want to break a promise. But I fully intend to. <laughs> I fully intend to. Um, damn it. Damn it. He he hit my Negasonic. I don't get to do the Shuri line anymore. No. That's not good for us, chat. That's not good. That is not what we expected. Got enough Dan hit variants to make a deck, but the deck makes no sense. There you go. There you go. Ooh, a little spice, uh, space pilot coming in. Thank you, Quill. Uh, let's see. You didn't realize people like the gray borders? You're like guests. You like the gold borders? The gold borders are pretty good, PLG. The gold, they're pretty good. But yeah, I'm a fan. I am, honestly, a, a little bit of fan of, like, the, the no animation and everything about it. Um, this kind of sucks, because I can't Galactus here anymore because of Abomination. And I don't have a null. All right, let's just make a 14 Galactus over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we still have to fight this lane too. Jeez Louise. What if I do an early GG fist bump? Is that... I'm not going to be rude. I want to. I want to do an early GG fist bump to make them think that they lost. Thank you again, Quellfare, for the uh, Space Pilot voice redemption. Appreciate that. All right. What's your plan, bud? Doom, Doom. Doom's a pretty good plan. We can't beat Doom. Did we top deck Kang? We did not top deck Kang, did we? 
And even if we did, there's nothing that lets us win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, five here is too much. Four, four. All right, let's retreat. Oof, that's painful. I wish I didn't snap that one. That's rough. All right, we got to shape up. Maybe we can pull it together here. I don't know, though. This is looking rough. We got to come back from behind. The fact that they hit our Negasonic and we weren't able to do the Shuri line is very disappointing to me. Like, very, very disappointing to me. Hit the Destroyer. Oh, okay. I thought they were about to Spider Ham us. I hate that that keeps the ongoing buff from Null and Hulk. I'm really not a fan of that. Did I see the theory on these um, <laughs> subreddit? No, I, I, I did not see the probably not that they may keep some cards in series four. I did not see that theory. No, nope. if if it's not like a quick and easy, like low effort meme, then I don't notice it on the subreddit. I spend very little time on Reddit in general anymore. Bum bum bum. Yo, how did I get to get Molnir from Mantis? Did I just draw their Molnir? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's good. That's good. He doesn't know I have the hammer. Oh my goodness, PLG, we got this now, right? Can I win this? I think I actually can pretty well at this point. A pig here ruins my day. If he pigs us, that's going to be sad. Yeah, he plays Janie. He's just like, WTF, where's my hammer? I hope that happens. He did. He did get my null. Ah, what a rude boy. What a rude, rude boy. This is only turn five. And I have six in er seven energy. Holy smokes. I don't have null. Which really stinks. I think Kang at this point's too early. Is this Jane? No, of course not. Jubilee? Wow, that's good for us. That's really good for us. Below. Oh, that's good for us. We know exactly how to win now. Let's fucking go. So five heal will win it. Five here won't necessarily win it. Do we king now or next turn? I could do this, this, and this. I could do that, that, and that. All right, let us. Well, King, ne I guess King never matters anymore. Let's just King this turn. King literally never matters, but let's let's see what it, they're doing mid. Lady Foster, ah, huh? they know they don't have the Molnir now. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. Where's your hammer at, brother? Where's your hammer? Is are you looking for a hammer? Uh, what? 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 Jane, not find your hammer for you? Hmm. I wonder where it could be. I got news for you. I've got it. I've got the hammer. I've had the hammer the whole time. Um. You never had a chance to find the hammer. I think this will win it. Oh, he decided not to play uh, Jane anymore since it wouldn't pull the uh, the hammer. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, five here does not get us the win, unfortunately. 
right? Oh. Oh, but that gets us the win, doesn't it, chat? Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's go. Negasonic into Nimrod Venom. No, this doesn't get us the win, Potent Potato. Am I off? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, yeah, that abomination's huge, isn't it? Oh no, yeah, that's not quite it. Okay, we lost. We lost, we didn't quite get there. I was excited for it. I thought that would get it for us. Um, yeah, A-bomb's just too big for us. Well, that was still fun. I still enjoyed that quite a bit. You think Venom Wright was the win? It might have been Potent Potato. Then he flipped us the bird. He definitely did, PLG. He definitely did. The gal of the man, for sure, for sure. Probably would have been a little bit closer, if nothing else. Um, oh, hey, we wanted to check out the uh, Juno. Didn't we want to check out the Carnage animation? Yeah? It was a win? Oh, man. Dang, dang. I wish I would have seen it. I wish I would have seen the win. All right, let's check a look at it. Uh, here it is. So you see how far back that moon is? Like, as far as the 3D goes on this, it's got one of the most 3Ds. Uh, Animation-wise, it's, you know, it's not... I think it could be animated a little bit better, but it's really the 3D effect to make the carnage pop, you know? Um... Do we have enough for the Venom? Oh, I did pop the Venom once. I did upgrade it once. So you can kind of see. Now, the Carnage really pops. The Venom, the moon isn't as far back. In fact, the moon's not even the furthest piece back. But I, I kind of like the animation on the Venom more. Something about Venom's tongue doing its little bit, which I like about the pixel, I really, really like. Five, six, and three on right, and then Nimrod takes the left. Oof. Oof. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better. That we uh, stuck to our channel brand and did a misplay and wasn't just completely out of the, the possibility of it, right? Um, how many boosters do I have? I've got 102 boosters. Not enough boosters. Only 675 credits. You guys can't see that stuff on stream. It's, it's all right. Uh, chat, it was so much fun hanging out today. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I'm really surprised we got Kang to work as well as we did to today. Um, now, is Kang the next Conquest? Is it all about Kang Quest? No, not necessarily. But I do think that Kang invokes a certain psychological fear into your opponent. Um, at least, I want to say four out of five times after a Kang play, if your opponent can make a different play, they will. Um, I have stopped trying to, I, I've started to utilize Kang, play Kang, see what my opponent does, and literally lose to that play in expectation that they are going to change their play um, and not contest that lane in the same way anymore. And therefore, maybe take over another lane and then I win this one that I've, I've played against instead. Um but it has been fun, and it has gotten us to the end of our stream. Uh, chat, if you're not aware, we do have a stream schedule here, but don't be surprised if we start a little late and end a little late as well. Certainly is the case for the 7.30 to 10 slot today on Thursday for Marvel Snap as we started closer to 8 o'clock, and here we are ending closer to 11 but we've got at least some sort of a schedule to pretend with um now i i don't know chad i i feel like i've i've said this once before <laughs> I, I, I've, I've said it about like like a million times before but you know something Mom!
survival snap is a shit ton of fun, but it is more fun when I get to play it here live with you on twitch.tv chat. It doesn't matter if you were lurking, raiding, if you were chatting, if you were following, subbing, or overall just being awesome because, you know, you were being awesome, chat. Your name will show up on the credit screen as we pull together and get a raid together. Chat, it's been so much fun hanging out with viewers like you. Good night, and I'll see you Bye. next time. Bye, have a beautiful time. All right, we're gonna go over and we are gonna ring a dangerous mix. You've seen him before on the channel as we have competed together in Coach 13's tournaments versus one another. And tonight he's playing Marvel Snap and tonight we're gonna read him. So let me get the raid together and I will see you on Sunday.